What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is once again Legacy Kill HD back to do with another Call of Duty Ghost news and information video today. Uh, just updating you guys on the latest details for this game that's only weeks away of being released. So let's get quick on the topics. We're going to be going over the new Alien game mode that has not been confirmed, but it's been rumored. And there's a lot of uh, reliable sources that have gave details about this, and that's what we're going to be going through today with that topic. We're also going to be going through 13 of the 15 known maps. We don't have names for a lot of them, but we have pictures and we have probable idea, ideal names for them. And we're also going to go through some prestige levels. There's, uh, well, we'll get to that a little bit later. There's some more details on that. Anyway, let's first start with the main thing that I'm sure a lot of people are really pumped up for. It's the alien game mode. So basically, a lot of shock came from this. Not a lot of people expected this to happen. You know, it's so late into the game, well, so late into the advertising season, you would have thought Activision or Infinity Ward would have announced this months ago with a trailer or something. So th that's why a lot of people are very, you know, on edge with about this subject. And I gotta stress this again, this is just a rumor. Activision has not officially announced this, but there's so many, like, little teasers they put into trailers. Like, the, that's actually my last video about this was, if you guys want to see that, there should be an annotation at the end of the video, so you guys can check that out. But basically, there's a picture in the actual trailer trailer that says extinction that's what's going to be called extinction and there's also some secret achievements that were leaked out that actually uh, describe what the game mode is like but uh, anyway guys let's get to the in-game details that reliable sort a lot of reliable sources have been giving information on so it is going to be a one to four player co-op alien round based horde mode it is designed for your work well it's designed for you to work as a team and it contains hectic gameplay very similar to zombies it will have a goal or an ending but it also can just go endless just like zombies you can finish the game by reaching the exfil chopper obviously we don't know what the exfil chopper is uh, it will have traps for the aliens and there will be ammo and gear but it will also be scarce just like how it is in zombies so you heard a lot of zombies in this it's basically zombies but with aliens this time guys if you've seen the movie independence day or maybe even war of the worlds this is kind of what it reminds me of but instead of it, but in Call of Duty logic, it's just basically taking out his zombies and putting in aliens and making a different atmosphere. And you know, with Call of Duty ghosts already having destructible environments and how the world's already been turned around by nuclear mists. Well, yeah, and technically Odin strikes, but I guess they're kind of like nuclear weapons. And uh, it'll be pretty easy for Infinity War to make this game mode happen. But the question is, will it be as good as zombies? That's my main concern, my main question. And if they, and right now they haven't really been discussing this, so I'm trying to figure out, is this going to happen? Are they maybe pushing this off as a DLC later into the uh, Call of Duty season, you know, maybe in February or March or something? But that would be interesting if they put it off that long. That would be really disappointing to a lot of fans also. Anyway, guys, let's move on to the next subject, but also make sure to tell me what you guys think in the comments about this alien game mode, what you think it will be like, because I have many, like, little concerns and many little questions. Anyway, guys, let's get to the next subject, and that is the known multiplayer map. So we will now begin with the first maps that have actually been announced with names. We've actually seen some gameplay with it. We have Whiteout, Octane, Strike Zone, Chasm, Stonehaven, which actually is the most uh, newest one that's been announced, and Freefall, which actually doesn't technically count, but it's just a DLC, it's kind of like Nuketown last year. And then these are the maps that are unknown. We don't have names, but we have an idea of what they'll be about. We have the satellite map. We have a water tower map. We have a shipping container map. We have a forest map, which actually kind of reminds me of Jungle for some reason from Black Ops 1. We have an urban map. We have a city rain map. We also have a town map, and then there's two other ones that we do not know the names or we have no details about yet. But anyway, some of these maps do look interesting to myself. You know, the most, well, the one that sticks out to the most to me is town. I think it really could be a really fun map. I'm not exactly sure how it will work, but it reminds me of Standoff, you know, from Black Ops 2, one of the only maps that I actually really do enjoy from Black Ops 2, and I really do hope it's something of that uh, caliber, something similar to it. Anyway, guys, tell me what map you will like the most, what you think will be the uh, best map in Call of Duty Ghosts, just from the initial looks of it, just based on the layout, based on the details on the map. Anyway, guys, we're going to move on to the last part of this video, and that is Prestige. As most of you guys already know, Prestige is going to be completely different in Call of Duty Ghosts. This time around, you're going to be prestiging a soldier, and I think you're going to have the ability to prestige 10 soldiers. So it's no longer you just prestiging, I guess, your lone self. 
and this time around there will be 60 levels that will be the highest level 60 right now there's a lot of spec uh, there's been a lot of uh, speculation a lot of rumors going around that there will be 10 prestiges in this uh, game so I uh, keep your eye out for this for those details but obviously that can change later on with DLCs and stuff you know um, actually not technically DLCs but updates whatnot so wouldn't be surprised if like on the uh, past Call of Duties we maybe get 15 prestiges or 20 but, uh, you know, with having this time soldiers around and, you know, you're just prestiging a soldier and then say if you get done with one soldier, you prestige him ten times, then you have nine other soldiers to prestige and work on. So it's going to be a completely different and whole new ball game. So it's going to be interesting and I would love to know what you guys think about this concept and do you like it or do you think they should have gone with the basic Call of Duty prestiging system? Anyway guys, uh, these are this has just been some basic details, some interesting things I wanted to share with you. I have a new Call of Duty Ghost uh, weapon series coming up in the next few days, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, it's going to be big, you know, I, you know, it's something similar to what I did last year. If you guys were here last year, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy. Comment, share your thoughts on what you thought of the topics of this video. And also just subscribe for more Call of Duty Ghost news and information. And all kinds of uh, future videos with all kinds of series, tips, tricks, easter eggs, secrets. Uh, a lot of stuff guys, a lot of stuff. Anyway guys, see you later.